Welcome to Intuitive Arts, led by Kim. Kim is a plant-based artist and a practicing sound facilitator. She ran a 10-week course at Woodhouse Community Centre. The sessions were about working on the chakras, tuning into the body and using the found intuition to guide the expressions through art. Let's join them for a celebration finale and to see how the intuitive arts class was received. Art doesn't just come in the form of diagrams, it's an expression of what lies within. Today, Kim and the gang decide to express themselves through poetry and music. Let's hear some of what they have to offer. I am not a man of mere matter. I matter much more than that. I am that that makes matter matter as a matter of fact. Climate intuitive awareness. Together we peer into our being to realize what it is we are seeing. To open the third eye to awaken. I must feel the air flowing through my hair. I imagine this will open the gateway to divine consciousness. Oh. There's a baby daddy long legs, and an easy going snail, and the family of woodlice all are on my nature trail. There are caterpillars waiting for their time to come and fly. There are worms turning the earth over as ladybirds fly by. Bill. My third eye indigo, my intuition glows, my wisdom knows that to really see is to close my two eyes, to go in deep, internally, the answers are all within, I see. Brilliant words brought to life by some of the members of the class. Let's see what they thought about this 10 week course. So Rachel, um, how are you? You right? I'm oh, good, bro. Thank you. How are you? Brilliant, brilliant. Thanks. Brilliant. You played very well. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> and sang lovely as well. Yep. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so going through to the intuitive classes, mm -hmm. um, how how has that affected you in your personal life, like over um, the past ten weeks? You know, the ten week course has been amazing. Um, just having that kind of continuity <laughs> of um, something that I'm doing every week on a Wednesday. It's my Wednesday comes. I know I'm going to see my people. Yeah. I know I'm going to come here, which I love it here. Like I feel yeah. at home. I feel grounded yeah. um, in my community. So um, yeah, that, that continuity has been really good for my mental health, just um, to keep me going. Yeah. Um, not only that, but it's artistic, so it's really fun. That's it. Yeah. Um, Colors always uplift you as yeah. well. No, definitely, um, definitely. So yeah, and just get into flow. And it's not often in life that we get to take that time to just um, be artistic. So that's right. No, I enjoyed no, that. Awesome. Yeah. That's not nah, brilliant. Glad to hear that I had some good and positive effects. Yeah, so. so Darren, uh, how are you you're you right? Yeah man, I'm a good day fan. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant man. So I just wanted to know how has intuitive arts um, helped improve your own personal life in any way? Yeah, the intuitive art, I guess, in a way that I'm not really doing a lot of art. I never really have the opportunity or I don't make the time yeah. to um, to, to, to paint, I've, oh, I like painting, I've done a little bit of spray painting with my street art friends in the past okay. and stuff like that. Yeah, um, <laughs> graffiti. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, you know. Nah. You know, it's kind of, I put myself yeah. in the group mm -hmm. and and I've interacted with the people there, yeah. which has been good for me. Definitely. You know what I mean, to interact with the people there. That's and it, to, the feeling of community, you know. And express a little bit of yeah. the, the paintings and mm -hmm. have a little conversation and yeah. discussion on the chakras and just to relax and just to touch base with some of the tribe and some of the locals and, That's and right. in that kind of way I think it's improved in that sense and then today has been a, a really a, a beautiful yeah like you, a finale, you played, you played, finale, you played you amazingly know? as well you and the, 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 well, the, yeah. the, the group the others, yeah, therefore did. man yeah all right thanks a lot Darren so, as you heard from Rachel and Darren, intuitive arts has been greatly beneficial in their lives. A fun new experience centered around community, well-being and inner peace. Now we chat with the pioneer, Kim Ho, for a deeper understanding into intuitive arts and how it came to be. So Kim, how are you? You all right? 
I'm good, yeah. Amazing. My throat's yeah. gone already. I can imagine. <laughs> um, so do you mind telling us uh, what kind of brought about the idea of intuitive art? Yeah, so um, it kind of came across where I was just kind of looking in and thinking about my passion. Mm. And my mum passed um, last year and I so quit my too. job and I realised um, life's short, I really yes. need to tune in to what it is I want to give into the world. That's right. And um, art and creativity is literally within my soul and my being and it's yeah. wanting to come out and it's something that I want to share for others. So um, creating art is a, it's a great way to express yourself. That's right. And I'm using yeah. this with this workshop to tune into the body <laughs> and working on the chakras as well and using the intuition to guide um, yeah. people through and seeing what messages come through and then to express that through art basically. So that's, that's the, amazing. the whole vision for the workshop. Kim, yeah. What are benefits? It's derived from intuitive arts. Uh, why would you recommend it? Um, so intuitive arts is a form of art therapy. So it's quite healing um, for me, and it's something that I wanted to share for others. Yeah. So um, in the workshops, you're tuning into yourself, you're tuning into your chakras, and you're tuning into your intuition. Mm -hmm. And it's allowing your intu intuition to guide you to see what messages need to come up. Right. And often in this day and age we don't allow the time and space for yourself to Definitely. really tune in especially with all the technology and everything. exactly yeah. we're constantly on screen swiping whatever distractions all the time mm. so this was a time and space for yourself to really tune in and then allow any sort of messages and um, visions to come through yeah. and that way there was i remember on the first workshop someone got really emotional because yeah. there was a lot of stuff that was coming through and she was expressing that through art and she integrated that like yeah. there was some heaviness but then mm. it turned into a lightness it was like some heavy dark cloud uh, yeah. dark trees mm. turned into light clouds that's wow that's a very spiritual that as well uh, what are your future plans for intuitive arts so i would love to share more of this work because i know and i'm seeing so many people get so much out of it so um probably something online i could create like a workshop online i would love to do more of this stuff as well if woodhouse would want me <laughs> um, of course. i'm sure they will <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm doing sound healing at the minute as well, so yeah. that's something that uh, avenue of intuitive like healing. Yeah. Um, Is that um, with a sound bath? Is yes, that... yeah, oh, with amazing. sound balls, with crystal balls, with Tibetan balls, oh, with like, shamanic drums. Jeez, that sounds very exciting. Yeah, um, you should come along. <laughs> I'll, I'll be there for sure. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And yeah, I love to do like dance as well, like sort of movements and intuitive movements. So there's a lot of stuff that I want to kind of do and to share. Um, oh, amazing, amazing. Hopefully, hopefully we see a lot more of you then, Kim. Yep. Thanks. So all in all, it was an awesome finale to a brilliant 10-week workshop. Very inspiring to hear Kim's journey and how intuitive art was born. It's amazing the spiritual connection to art she has managed to utilise as a healing tool for herself and others. We hope she goes on to do marvellous things. For more fun and exciting workshops, head over to Woodhouse Community Centre where there's lots going on. 